Hi there, this is yet another video on binomial times binomial, in other words, polynomial multiplication, or as it is sometimes described, FOIL. If you've never seen FOIL before, probably you want to skip back a couple of videos because there's some nice introductory ones that I did a couple of days ago. Um, if you're quite familiar with FOIL, you can start here and see how it goes. Because these ones, um, you know what, they're a little more complicated than the ones we did before. But let's get at it. All right, I'm looking at this one. First thing I'm thinking, hmm, that's kind of wonky. It's got the two in the front and the three X. And normally we have the variable in the front and the number in the back. Not a big deal. We still do it exactly the same, but my brain is saying, pay attention. Something might be a little weird here. So two times three X. So that's the first one over here times the first one over there is 6x. That feels weird. I want to make a 6x squared, but that's just because that's what I'm used to when I'm foiling. But I can't. This one's written weird. So I'm going to pay attention. And you don't rewrite it. Don't write 3x minus 2 just to make it nicer. No. Now we do outsides. So 2 times plus 3 is plus 6 insides minus three times minus sorry minus three x times three x is going to be minus nine x squared and then minus three times three is minus nine x okay look it looks all weird right and that's because this one the order was reversed so here is our only x squared term so minus 9x squared. And this one and this one are your x's. So minus 3x plus 6. So if this looks weird, just pay attention. You're normally, you're used to adding, combining the two middle terms. But here's an example right off the bat where you don't. Excuse me. Oh, this looks like there's a bunch of kind of cool questions on here that don't 100% follow the rules. Generally, also, a binomial times a binomial will usually give you two terms, but not always. And I think the next one's going to show that. So first, 2r times 2r is 4r squared. Outsides, 2r times plus 7 is plus 14r. And then we go inside, negative 7 times that is negative 14r, and negative 7 times positive 7 is minus 49. Now, this is so cool, 4r squared. Now, look, 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 look. I'm even going to highlight it because it's so cool. We have plus 14r and negative 14r. You know what happens when you get put those together? Nothing. It's gone. It disappears. That, my friends, is called a difference of squares. It is a very specific type of question. And what it is, is the numbers and the variables in the bracket are exactly alike, except one's a minus and one's a plus, or a plus and a minus. And that will tell me that my middle terms are going to cancel out, and I end up with a binomial. It's a very, very specific type. Now, let's look at this one. Look. Look, 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 look. Look at this. 4r plus 5, or r minus 5. So this is the same pattern as we saw up here. So I'm thinking when we foil this out, those middle terms should cancel. I'm still going to foil it properly the whole way through, but I'm waiting and expecting the middle terms to disappear on us. 4r times 4r is 16r squared. 4r times minus 5 is minus. 20r inside plus 20r minus 25. All right, these two are going to cancel out like that. Same thing again. So it didn't matter. Up here it was plus 14 and then minus. This is a minus and plus. It's still going to disappear. 16r squared minus 25. Now, I'm going to challenge you. Look at the pattern. Getting good at math is recognizing patterns. If only there was a shortcut. 
look what happens. 4r plus 5. You got a 4r and a 4r, and you got 16r squared. And then you got the 5 and the 5 at the back, and that's 25. Let's look at this one. 3n and 3n plus 4 minus 4. That looks like one more difference of squares. And I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to square the first term, which is going to be 9n squared. In other words, I'm just going to, I'm going to do, I was going to say do f, but that's maybe not what I want to be saying. First times first. And then it's always a negative n16. That is my prediction. Now, let's do it properly. 3n times 3n is 9n squared. 3n times minus 4 is, let's see, it's going to be minus 12n. And then we do the insides, plus 12n, minus 16. These ones disappear. 9n squared, minus 16. Now, don't get, OK. I admit, I got really excited about that. But it only, 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 seriously, only works when you have that exact pattern. Um, you know what? I'm going to do one over here. If you have 3n plus 4 times 3n plus 4, you're going to get the normal type question. You're going to get three terms in your answer. Because when we do that, right, see? This was a plus and a minus. Now I have two pluses. It's so going to be 9n squared plus 12n, oopsies, plus insides 12n plus, oops, 16, not 4. So 9n squared plus 24n plus 16. So if you're not sure whether those middle terms should cancel out or not, one, pay attention, check your signs. But if you're not sure and you want to guess, there's probably going to be a middle term because this is a very rare occurrence when you have the exact same number with just a plus and a minus. Okay, so if these are both pluses, and you know what, if I made them both minuses, let me show you. That's a minus, and that's a minus. And you know what? then this becomes a minus, this becomes a minus, and this becomes a minus, and you still get the three terms. It's only when you have one of each that they cancel out, kind of like sign numbers. Just saying. All right, let's go up here to this one. 5m times 6m, so first is 3m squared, 5m times 8n, m, Oops, plus 40n squared. That looks weird. Look, 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 look. Another tricky question. I probably should have just put those together to begin with. But let's finish it off, and I'll just show you how it works either way. Minus 4 times, times 6 is minus 24m. And minus 4 times 8 is minus 32m. So 30m plus 40m is 70m squared. My, oh goodness, 66. I better do that. 24 plus 32. Oh, oops, 56. Okay, so. That is with foiling. Now, if I've been paying attention, I'm going to rewrite the question. 6m plus 8m. I would have said, gosh golly, look at that back term. 6 plus 8 is 14m. And just combine them because they are like terms. And now I can multiply 5m times 14. So 5 times 14 is going to be 70m squared. Minus 4 times, I don't know, but I hope it's 56. 4 times 14. Hmm. Let's see, that was one step, two steps. This was one step, two steps. Still got the same answer. And now it's a, an odd example where you started with a binomial times a binomial 
and you ended up with two terms. So sometimes if it's my assignment, I'm just going to flip in some tricky ones just to see if I catch you. 16 minus 10 squared. Mm, don't overthink it. Let me move that up. That just means I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go 6t minus 10. And now I foil. It's just a different way of writing it. It's kind of like, so how cool is that student? Are we going to be able to cause them to panic? Nah, nah, not you. Let's just do it. You just rewrite it and away we go. 6t times 6t is 36t squared. First, outsides minus 60t. Insides minus 60t. And last, plus 100. So 36t squared minus 120t plus 10. Boom, done. See, not so scary. Uh, do exactly the same thing. 3x minus 10. 3x times 3x is 9x squared minus 30x minus 30x plus 100. 9x squared minus 60x plus 100. So remember, this step is the multiplying. This step is the combining. Hmm. Oh, that guy down there. I'm gonna do it up here so I have some more room. So minus two plus six x minus two plus six x. My mm, spider senses are tinkling. My my math senses are tinkling, saying, "Yeah, that's a weird order." So I need to pay a little extra attention when I'm doing it. It's not wrong. And I wouldn't rearrange them. That's just a habit you don't need to get into. It, this one wouldn't kill you if you went 6x minus 2. But it's just a really bad habit to get into. So negative 2 times negative 2 is going to give me 4. Negative 2 times 6 is minus 12x. 6 times minus 2 is minus 12x. And 6 times 6 is plus 56x squared. Now I'm going to do two things at once. I'm going to rearrange it into descending order. So 36x squared. And I'm going to put these two together. Minus 24x. And then I'm going to put the 4. Now if you do that, I'm going to deduct these some marks. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. There needs to be something in there. You can't just randomly leave that 4 hanging out there. Now, is it going to be a plus or a minus? Well, this 4 was a positive. So we can just put this a positive and an add are kind of exactly the same thing. So there's your final answer. And that is 11.2 binomials times binomials. QL. Cool.